Hey you viewers and viewers, so my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to Fez, this is episode 6 now. So, you remember, we are here in this rather interesting looking new world in which we find ourselves looks kind of urban, if I may say so myself. So, we're going to keep moving, uh, obviously through this game, playing more and more. As usual, people have been leaving comments, things for me to uh, kind of keep in mind. So apparently, uh, you know, some interesting things that people have been mentioning. Uh, the sunglasses that apparently you get in this game, they come in sort of later on after you think, I think you have to complete a full playthrough of the game first and then you get the sunglasses which enable you to find certain secrets and things like that. So by the sounds of it, you can't get 100% on the first playthrough or whatever. So um, that might be worth just bearing in mind. And um, other things I've been told, apparently the language of some of the, uh, that you see on some of the cubes and things like that, apparently that's not I don't know if it's necessarily essential for you to know that, or whatever, um, so that, um, you know, it, it, we may we may work it out, we may not, I don't know, we'll see, um, but, like I say, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right, uh, I need to work out sort of, right, that's the entrance I came from. There are ladders that enable me to go up this way, so let's go up this way, shall we? Uh, shall we go through this door? I imagine this might take us somewhere else. I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's just an indoor environment. There we go. So we got that. Another cube piece there. That's good. Um, so that's that cleared out. So there's nothing else actually in here. Okay, well that's fine. As long as there are little sort of um, places that I can just clear out. Apparently also, actually, I'm just looking at that big, what looks like an owl there on that. That's another comment someone gave me. I think it was the user Lottacote who said it again. Um, apparently, if you see owls or ghosts, then apparently you can talk to them. And it's worth noting that, because apparently the game doesn't tell you this. So it's left to you to sort of find out. So, good thing um, that you said that, Lottacote, because I would have probably not realised. That looks like it could actually be signifying some kind of secret. That does. That board in the background. Mm, that could also be... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's various things that look like they could be showing secrets. Is there anything in here? There is a secret. Yes. Do we need the sunglasses to uh, find it? That's the question, though. It's like a little classroom, this, isn't it? You've got the big board there. It's like the teacher's desk over here. A couple of little desks there. Interesting. Hmm. They got got the bell over the door. I see. I see. Okay. Right. This may be somewhere we have to come back to then, because it doesn't look like there's really anything in there that I can find at the moment. Right. Okay, we have to go up this way. Okay. Let's go up this way then. And across here. Yes. To this door. Where does this go? Now eventually one of these is probably going to take me somewhere new. Oh, these bunk beds. Hmm, okay. Hmm, can I jump on them? I can. Right. Just have to sort of press various buttons on things just to see if maybe it activates anything. Hmm, hold on, what's down here? Can I do anything there? No. Is this another secret? Oh no, okay. That's that area and apparently we've cleared it out already. There's... Hmm, nothing in here then. Okay. It's just an empty room. I see. How strange. You get these every so often. Just rooms that don't really seem to have anything in them. It's very peculiar. What about through here? Where does this take us? Okay, there's definitely something in here. This feels definitely like a school kind of environment. Oh, that room we were just in maybe is like a dormitory and this is the not the uh, locker room or something. Okay. Anything else in here? It's like... What are these, like, levers or something on the floor here? I don't know. Like a rat down there. What are these? These sort of strange blue things. They're very peculiar. I don't know. Well, we got that, at least, so... Okay, well, that's everything in there, so there's nothing actually else to find. Okay, sure. And there's, apparently, one other room branching off from this one which we have yet to locate, and it's down there. I see it. Oh, did I not open that one before? It's quite low down, actually. So does this area connect to any...? No. It just goes into various rooms, and there's like a boiler or something in here? Okay. 
Is there a way to climb up on this thing? Or, oop, oh, <laughs> Gomez, he's sort of behind it there. No, apparently not. Okay. Nope, that's cleared out. That's peculiar, so there's a few rooms in this one which don't actually go anywhere. How strange. And then there's just this one which has a secret, the classroom. Very weird. Okay, so we've cleared that out, so we have to now go back to the central area and maybe go somewhere else, somewhere that we haven't been. Huh. Maybe up to here? So it looks like there's a big thing that that joins to. And again, there's a big area up there that probably branches off. And that also, by the looks of it, branches off into various areas. Okay. So we just need to get our way out of here and go back. Alright, well it was nice coming here. It's an interesting looking environment, even if there wasn't too much there. So maybe we need the sunglasses for that secret in the classroom, perhaps? Uh, this is a door which we are not yet able to open. Uh, where did this one go? That one goes... Hmm, that one goes... Oh god, what the hell was going on there? That was a bit weird. That one go to there. No, that's a different area. That one goes to that area where we've already been and we've cleared everything out. That goes to that area. Hold on. Maybe I have gone a bit wrong. Well, let's just go back through here. I think this maybe is one that just goes up, is it? Have we been here? Probably have, haven't we? Hold on, if I go up this way, twizzle the old camera around a bit. Huh. I've not gone the right way here at all, have I? No, this, ain't, this isn't correct by the looks of it. Let me just uh, try this again. There's definitely nothing above, is there? Right. Hold on. Oh, there's a door up above, isn't it? Wait a minute. Hold on, I need to go up. That's what I need to do here. Hold on. I've got to remember, this area actually has more things to find in it. Go up there. Right, yeah, across here. So this takes us to there. Right, okay, I get it. So that definitely doesn't open. That's obviously that. And this takes us... This takes us back to an area we've been, but I can't remember where now. I think it was a big sort of mechanical environment, wasn't it? Where there were things moving. Oh, well, let's go back here then. It's just a matter of finding the correct path. Going to areas that we haven't been to already. Right, so this is, I think, where we need to be, isn't it? So it's that way up there, which we haven't unlocked yet. It's obviously that over there, which has a fair few areas that we haven't been to. Well, there's a few areas we have been to. Oh yeah, that's the area with like the mines, things like that. That's an area where there's a secret. Now that, I remember, had a few kind of locked doors and things. Um, there's that over there. The passage for the bell. Okay. Oh yeah, that there, that was... Um, was that the place where the secret route went to? I think it was. So we could go to there. Let's explore around here. And just see... What was... Th where's, where's the place that I haven't been here? Because there's a door somewhere that I don't think I've opened. Now this one went through there. Hmm. This is an entry that I've definitely not looked into somewhere. Where was this? Oh, this goes over here. Ah. Huh. Huh. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go up here. Did I fully explore this area? No. Okay, this looks kind of new. I don't know, I feel like if I'd been here before, some of the other routes would be cleared out. Right. Okay, so let's get exploring this one then, I guess. And again, this one does also look kind of similar in certain respects, I feel, to um, something that I saw on one of my maps. Yeah, something's up there, glowing away. Can I just jump across to that? Or Yeah, there we go. I'm across. Now, I think I'm jumping across to there, aren't I? That's right. Like so. Jumped across like an absolute pro and go around here. That's the stuff. Hmm. Ah, there's something up there. There's a door here, though, that looks like it goes to another area. Okay, what's this? What if I... Ah. Q. You don't weigh enough to push down the switch. 
You'll need something heavier. Well, there's a box up there, so that's probably what I'll need. <laughs> something like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> a crate? Yeah, like the one up there. Yeah, we've seen puzzles like this before in platformer games. This is kind of a very standard platforming fare, isn't it? All right, well, we're not going to go through that door, because we know that that's probably going to... Um, going to send us through to the area over there. Alright, let's go um, kind of over here then. We'll follow this around and then maybe see if we can uh, get that chest up there as well. Aha! Hello. I get... Oh! I want to try and go that way, please. There we go. Got it. Alright. And if I sort of, yeah, go down like that, we should be okay. Alright. We're slowly getting more and more cube pieces, which is good. Alright. I mean, from here, we could actually just sort of drop down onto that one there. So let's do that. Got it. And then we can just... Uh, oh, full cube. There we go. That's better. That's good. We don't have any keys. Do we need a key for this chest up here? I can't quite remember. Let's have a look. Can we activate it? Oh, no, we can activate it. There's another chest up there, though. Oh, and they got a key. There we go. Well, that's good. If we need to unlock some doors. Fantastic. Um, right, so how do we get to that chest up there? Hmm. Something to do with the treetops, maybe. So if we go... Oh, hold on. There's another uh, thingy down here. There we go. Good. Start off another cube. Yep. Oh, careful. Ah, hello there. Cube. This is a crate, obviously. You can push a crate by leaning on it. You also pick it up and throw it with left control. And you can drop it down gently by pressing down and left control. So kind of like you would do with the bombs, in essence, down in the mine shaft. Here we go. <laughs> Gomez, are you all right with that? Aha! Oh, okay. We've got a secret entrance. I like it. Okay. Uh, if I can just put that there, I guess it'll weigh it down. You did it. You found a secret passage. Good. Right, so we've done that. That's good. So... Obviously, there's still that one other chest in here that I'm not sure how to get to, but let's just uh, check this out, shall we? Right, there's nothing else on that platform, is there? No. Does that go? Yeah, it's going across to this one over here. I see. Is that the door I'm coming out of? Hmm. Okay, there's another path off uh, in the background over there. I see I'm seeing... You see that one in the background there? Hold on. Does that match... That might actually match this treasure map that I've got here. Oh, okay, okay. So I thought I'd found... Was it this one? I thought I'd found where this one went to, but maybe not. Okay, sure. Okay, we've got moving platforms. There's another thing that we have to weigh down over there. Okay, let's go. Get onto that one, onto that one. Across onto this one. Ooh! Apparently not. Okay, never mind. That didn't work for some reason. Did I just uh, not quite get onto it? Oh, is it too high? That one. Okay. Let's have a look. No, I feel like we're supposed to go onto that one. Okay, go. Yeah, got it. There we are. And up. There we are. Right, so where is the crate that we need? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? Right, the crate that we need to weigh down that switch is, of course, um, over there, on the right. Now, um, judging by that cube up there above the tree, not the one on the right, the one in the centre, I wonder if we can um, use the crate actually to get onto the tree and then jump up and get that cube piece. I figure that's what it's possibly asking me to do there, so we'll have to try that. There we go. And across. There we go. Lovely. Got it. Right. So this we're going to have to carry off over there. So if I throw that onto there, like so, it's good. Pick it up again, please, Gomez, and throw it across onto there. Oof, that's close. I nearly <laughs> was off the other end. Oh, can you get it, please? There we go. Trying to be careful so I don't end up pushing it off like an idiot. You see, sometimes I'm actually good at solving puzzles. Okay, right, let's get this over here. And let's just uh, put it down there, like that. And we get up onto the tree. Got it. There we are. That's how it's done. So, were there any other things? Okay, there's the secret. Ah, right. Okay. Wait a minute. 
That's an interesting angle to be looking at it from. I'm just looking at the graphic there. That doesn't look like what I've seen here. Huh. Okay, well, let's just get this on onto this thing here. Put it down so that it flip in. Okay, jump up. Aha! There you go. Now we've got it. The Secrete Revealed. Fantastic. Uh, Gomez, you're just going to go to sleep now, are you? <laughs> I can't... Why can I not move? Oh, there we go. Jeez, that was a bit weird. For some reason the arrow keys weren't working. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't take that off, please. Just leave it where it is. Uh, so, this should allow us into a... Ooh! Huh! Okay! Ah! There's a, um, thing there. A, uh, crate for the uh, button up there. Okay, I get it. I get it. Can I lift it up, please? There we are. I guess we have to jump up if we can. We can. Okay. It's a jumping puzzle, ladies and gents. Right, we're on to that one. And maybe we go on to this one. There we are. And around to this one. And then... Yeah. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. It's not what I meant to do. Here we go. See? Such a pro. And that opens another door. Right, so that's the one we came through that's marked with the torches. Okay. Nice. Aha! It's a full cube. Lovely. So, ah, oh, well, look at that. Okay, well, we've cleared that area out and we've cleared that area, so now it's just this one, I'm guessing, with the uh, large cube. Oh, careful. I hope I'm doing all these uh, little levels and stages in the right kind of order. I don't know. I feel like with the kind of small warp gate symbols, maybe that's trying to tell me that I should be doing things in a certain order. But, having said that, I, I kind of haven't been. I've kind of just been doing things as I please. Well, we've got a warp gate there. So where's that going to take us? Is that just going to take us probably back to the main area, isn't it? Um, is it worth going straight back to the main area, though? I don't think so. I'm not going to do that, because I want to kind of go through here. The water is very pinkish as well, I've noticed. It's very peculiar. Oh, Gomez, come back, please. Let's go. Right, so we come back through here. That's right. Yeah, and then we have to just go down, don't we? All right, so we cleared out that path. That's good. Um, yeah, we go down this way, like so. Yeah. Carefully without trying to kill off Gomez in the process. <laughs> and then back through to here, right. So, this is obviously where the secret, presumably, lies. The one, or the treasure, rather, for the map. Um, so I need to work out how we're supposed to look at this. Um, hold on, let me think it through. Right, so the floating island off to the side, but the treasure chest needs to be over on our right. Okay. think I get it. Um, if I can remember where it was. <laughs> how everything's kind of laid out and all that. Alright, let's go around here. Um, let's see. Oh no, this isn't the friggin... Is it? Is this the area with the treasure? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should open the thing in the background. I don't know. Um, hold on. So if we go up here, like so... Let me just check this out. Ah, oh, there's the treasure island up there. Okay, hold on, hold on. So if I actually... Mm, let me just uh, go up like this. Hold your horses. Get up onto the top layer so I can look at my maps and things. Right, so the treasure island's off to the uh, right. Okay. So is that now laid out correctly? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. No, this is the right place, isn't it? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I think so. Right, hold on, if we get up on the trees like this... People, oh, pff, not like that, sorry. That's not how to do it. Off you go, seagull, or whatever you are. Treasure hand's over there. Hmm. How do we get across to that? So if we look at this here... So, it looks like there's a platform to the right of where I am, at least on this map. But I don't see one. So is it... Is there an invisible platform, do you reckon? I think it's worth testing. Oh. <laughs> well, we fell right down. Okay. Is it... Mm. No. 
Or is this something that you need the sunglasses for? Maybe that's the purpose of it. Maybe the sunglasses reveal a platform that you can't normally access. Right. That could be the case. That could indeed be the case. Okay, right, well... I think we've definitely found where that secret list is... Well, where one of our treasure maps basically corresponds to. Which is good, right? So now I guess it's just a matter of... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. What am I doing? Tw twizzling the camera around way too early. Here we go. Right, let's uh, go through here and just see where it leads us. So it leads us obviously to the thing in the background. Hmm. But let's see what we got here. Ah, okay. Okay. So you see, we are finding new areas, which is pretty good. Just, uh... Ooh, look around like that. There's a closed-off door up there, definitely, that we need to get to. Um... So we've unlocked, yeah, this area down here, and this has at least one area connected to it. Okay, right, so maybe we have to go... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Can I? Careful. Gomez, just use the... that's it. Use the vines, old boy. Don't mess this up, please. Can we just jump up like that? We can. Okay. So what's through here? Ah. Right, so... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what's this little, uh... Pyramid slash ziggurat type thing? Huh. What is this? Okay, so just the treasure chest. Let's have a look. Is it another key or a treasure map or something? Treasure map. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. This is a new one. Um, here we are. Uh, oh. Huh, okay. That looks weirdly similar to this one. Huh. Interesting. What's also with the thing up above us? Strange. Very peculiar. Well, apparently that is everything that there was to find in that area. Okay, sure. God, I love this game. Apart from being gorgeous, it, 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 I just... I, I really like the mechanics of it. So well put together. Just the way it kind of works. With all the kind of, you know, rotating of the camera. To, in or, you know, in order to solve puzzles that you're faced with. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Right, let's go through and round this way. Um, okay, it looks like we have to go sort of like this. Jump across. Now there's a piece of a cube on there, but there's also one up here. Can I? No, I can't reach it like that. Oh god, <laughs> Gomez's head sort of glitching out a bit there, but... Ooh. Can I? Can I? Yes, I... Ooh! Hold on. I nearly had that. No. No. Hold on. There we go. Ugh. There we go. Got it. Right. So we go up here. That's that one. Then we can go down and get that other one over here, can't we? Yes, we can. Got it. Lovely jubbly. Now we go up here. Oh, whoop, careful. Carefully does it, Gomez. Um, right, maybe if we jump from this angle, I think. Yes, there we go. Sometimes you just have to be a little cautious and take it sort of slowly and carefully. Uh, right, we're going up still. This way. Another piece up there. Looks like there's another... Hmm, I thought for a second maybe there was another piece here as well, but perhaps not. Okay, I think I see one. Maybe it wants us to do here, perhaps? Aha! I, God, I, I just love the way the levels work in this. Just the way, you know, you go through a door and you suddenly come out on the other side of another tower. Just so... It's so well thought out. So absolutely well thought out. Now... Hmm, what happens if I go through this direction? Aha! Yes. And there's a big piece of the cube over here. Over hither. Right. So, maybe what we need to do... I don't think I can jump up onto that. Or oh, can I? No, it's too it's too much too high. Um, let's have a go through that way. Huh. Hmm. Oof, it's quite a jump there, that was. No, I don't think this really helps me either, does it? How does one... How does one get up there to where that large cube is? 
there's got to be a way to do this. Yeah, I definitely can't jump onto that. It's just a bit too hot. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold your horses. No, I think I've worked it out. Yes, this is it, isn't it? There we go. Just a bit of platforming, puzzle solving. And a big cube for Gomez. There we are. Hmm. Right, so we got another warp gate there. And that's that cleared out. Okay. Oh, that's a different area, what am I doing? So it's just a matter of getting to that other treasure chest in this area, which I feel needs sunglasses for. Alright. Off you go, Gomez. Lovely jubbly. Right, so this should take us back to that central area with the um, portal in the tree, shouldn't it? Yep, yeah, there we are. We're through. That's good. Alright, so now that we're in here, obviously there's still stuff to find with some of these other areas. That's the thing. I'm trying to remember as well, that other one door down here, how many thingy bobbers did it require to open? Because I don't think I have enough cubes to open it just yet. So it's just a matter of going through areas that we've already been to and just trying to find whatever it is we need in order to access them. That's taking us back to the village up there. Secrets in those. Okay, I'm just looking at the map before anything else. We can't really do anything in there. Um, but, you know, they're all cleared out. What am I doing? So you see, this area might have more to it that I have to find. I'm trying to remember, though. What door was it that led through into there? Was it this one? Oh! Have I been through here into here? No, I haven't. This is a new area, okay. And by the looks of it, it's probably got branching paths. Well, isn't this interesting? Okay, well, tell you what. I've been recording there for, what, about 25, somewhere between 25 and 30 minutes. I think that's probably enough for an episode. So this is episode uh, 6 of Fez, then, everybody. Ma'am, I just... I don't really have much to say in these episodes other than just how much I like this game, how pretty it is, and just how interesting the mechanics of it are. It's just really fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I hope you'll join me for part 7. We'll continue on in that. In the meantime, of course, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. But in the meantime, of course, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And of course, uh, I'm signing off now. This is General Red, signing out. Goodbye, everybody. Alright, why are you asking us? She was sprinting away from the beach and crying. Something's definitely wrong. Hey! Whoa! Good night, mates. Where'd you get yourself suddenly? Oh, there's someone else here. Our cast beaching someone shouting at the point I was looking at was the end time's entrance hire. As I turned around. Ooh. Ooh, hello, gamer girl. Ooh. My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Oh, here comes the Sumsu fan service, everybody. Just today in Port Burger. Oh, I can't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. I mean, that's one way to describe it. I mean, it's just a bit of fabric, isn't it? <laughs> hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is John Red Stratus. Well, there, that. that all blurred into one little sentence. Let me try that again.